Good morning, my beautiful people, my beautiful babies. Today we have the new moon. Well, I guess it depends on where you will live, but it should be around the corner of, it should be here or almost here. I have already done a new moon video, so if you want to see it, I will link it up here. But with this new moon and with today, there can be moodiness overcoming you. There can be discussions happening around family. You might simply not feel like you're being heard or that you're being recognized. You might feel like you had to sacrifice too much and now you want to have a new start. You might want to experience a little bit trying to figure out what can actually make you feel peaceful now. Like you're looking for peace, you're looking for different ways for you to find peace. Maybe it is because of, you know, family interruptions or family discussions or something like that. Maybe it's, you know, with your partner or it's with your kids maybe it's with friends or co-workers so you're hungering for more peace yeah and you're trying to experience and figure out okay how can i bring more peace into my life today because this new moon in pisces is all about bringing peace into your life, being more grounded, which was also the message yesterday. Some of you guys might even feel that you are awakening your sensitive side. You feel more sensitive. You might even feel like the feeling that other people vibrate off feels heavier. Like you really feel other people's emotions. So if you're normally not someone who is sad and you feel sad, it might be because of someone close to you. It can also just be a friend calling you and talking about their emotions and then suddenly you feel it. So you're awakening your empathic abilities. You're awakening up to your sensitivity. I will link a video up here where I talk about how it is or why it is a superpower to be highly sensitive and being empathic and i feel like a lot of us or a lot of you guys watching my channel you are you have that superpower inside of you you might also have a high craving for i was just about to say ice cream well maybe for some of you guys but traveling adventures like you yeah you might even feel sensitive or emotional because you can't travel right now because you, you know you're hungering for it so deeply that you become moody of it the moon is stepping into aries so there's a lot of energy rushing in which can be confusing at just a 515 so more signs but you might feel like a little oh because this you know emotion emotional pisces energy that's around us is combined with moon in aries and that can just be an explosive experience for you but no wonder that you want to travel or that you have this urge to step into it it will give you confidence in your own skills so if you feel confident in creating something something today or writing or singing or filming whatever it is do it use this energy also you are very sharp-minded so again ideas at this boost energy is going to come very fast it is also the best time for you right now to tackle difficulties no matter what it is for you then it just rip to go deep and to get it sorted out once and for all let nothing stand in your way anymore and let no one stand away in the way for your dreams another thing to be careful with right now is addictions um, also material things that you suddenly just want to splurge and you want to go buy something very expensive even though you don't have the money for it it's not the perfect time for it because there is this energy of like be careful with addictions at the moment also be careful with people who are unreliable 
just really feel true like what is people's attentions with that we're using this deck today i am using my microphone so you guys can hear me better let me know if you guys like it so we have two piles so i'm going to take one from each and see okay let's see what is the message for today what is the message for today dreams are becoming a reality i heard okay oh okay so we have an astral house oh <gasps> wealth we like to see that october if you're waiting for someone someone okay <laughs> something well maybe someone October is going to be a very abundant month for you. And I know, <clears throat> you know, October is not around the corner, but whatever you're doing right now, whatever you're creating, especially with this Aries energy, it's going to come your way. We have mountain, major challenge to overcome. So you're overcoming something, maybe something about money, or something about how you create. <sighs> Romance, celebration, and party. Fan. Wow. Okay. So maybe you are even, you know, now that we have the October, maybe you are manifesting wealth now. And then in October, there might be a wedding or a celebration, like whatever it is, like uh, moving into a house or buying a house or be becoming engaged or, you know, you know, announcing a pregnancy, something, whatever it is. Announcing a relationship, like official relationship. Let's see what is the last card. Why do you give us so many? Okay. Advice from a friend. Take care, enemies are working against you. I do feel that is a separate message but it makes sense with this like unreliable energy that i tapped into so if you get a uh, advice from someone and you feel a little bit like hmm is this going against my will is this what i want just pay attention to it lightning control your anger or you will be sorry well maybe someone gives you an advice because i had this like you know, someone is getting, uh, someone is getting triggered by something, and then we have you will receive a gift. So there might be some kind of challenge or something that pushes you to your limits, but don't let it control you or don't go against your will. If someone is angry at you or someone is jealous at you, just push it to the side and be like, well, whatever, I'm going to continue on my own path because a gift is coming your way. Maybe some of you guys are even receiving something, receiving a gift, receiving a package, a letter, whatever it is, it's going to knock you off your seat. I feel this is going to be everything for today, people. Just saw 11.11, so that is a good way to end this magical daily reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in a comment below if it resonated. I hope you guys are going to have a magical new moon. Remember to see the new moon video that I did some days ago. If you are in need of a private reading, healing session, or removal of blocks, all information is down below. Remember to like and subscribe and share. Bring joy into other people's life. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!